three things I've learned from fishing. Hello everyone, this is Audrey Connor Gibson from ACG Math Tutoring and the Classroom Consultant coming to you for another episode of Three Things I Learned From. So this past weekend, my husband and I and my dog Connor decided to have a family outing and we went fishing. And during that whole experience, I learned three things that I feel like I can either apply to my life or I can even apply to my classroom or just my tutors. So here's the three things that I want to share that I learned from that great experience. So the first thing that I learned is the earlier you are, the more successful you're going to be. So if you get there around wherever your fishing hole is, around like 7, maybe even 6 o'clock, you don't have too many people hanging around and at the same time it's a lot cooler especially around the weather we've been having lately and for us to start a little earlier it just seems like we got bigger fish but the longer that we stayed all of a sudden the fish went from here to here <laughs> and my husband was like what is going on and i'm like well it's probably getting warmer it's later on the day the bigger fish have probably ate from us, they ate from the guy over here, ate from the people all the way over there. So for the most part, they're just like, yeah, we got our fill. Like, yeah, I got hooked, you threw me in, I feel like I, I've survived the day, so I'm gonna go home. You know, just the younger fish can have all of that. So same thing that I would be thinking, like the earlier that I do things, the more organized that I am, it just seems like it just connects so much better more confident I feel because things are done like I've been getting up early in the morning and I've been walking and I feel like once I get my 10,000 plus steps right at the track then I can go home and do whatever else I need to do and if I get an additional two to three thousand steps here and there hey that's a major win for me but the only thing is I got up early and I just put my set my mind to it and I just went ahead and did it so no matter what, just don't procrastinate. Do it early, like just get up and go. If you want to start that business, if you want to be an aces in your classroom, you need to start planning early. So the earlier you do it, the better it's gonna be for you. The second thing that I learned from fishing is patience. You're sitting there and you're just basically in a zen. Wheel in your mind, fish get on the line, fish get on the line <laughs> type of thing. But it was great that I'm just hanging out with my family a little bit, chit chat a little bit here. But you know, when you're fishing, you can't really talk too much because it disturbs the fish. They got to focus to get on your hook. But you have to be patient. You can't just keep tugging on the line all the two seconds. Like sometimes you just got to like chill. The fish will find your food. Hell, they even stole a few of our worms. But, <laughs> but the, thing that, the thing is, we had to sit there. You have to be patient because good things will come for those who wait. So for us, we actually got a pretty big bass. What? Okay, I was, I was a little shocked and surprised to see bass in our waters. But we got a nice sized bass. And we actually got a small sunfish later on during the day. But we put everybody back, of course. But it just seems like you're sitting there for a while. Sometimes they'll be biting one after the other, but there's going to be times that you're just going to have to wait. And the one that we waited for a while, that was the biggest fish that we got. So patience, patience in your classroom, patience with your teachers, patience with your friends, your family. You know, there's going to be times that you just want to lose your mind. But when you take the time just to be a little bit patient, things will actually come your way. And the third thing that I learned was view every catch as the biggest victory. Everyone always says, celebrate the small stuff, okay? We can't always have big things all the time. Like, celebrate those small stuff. So even when we're getting those small little fishes and we're putting it back, and people are like, yeah, you should use that for bait. And I'm like, dude, let it live. <laughs> so for the most part, Celebrate your small victories. You got up this morning. Huge. That's a victory. You went out to the track today. That's a victory. 10,000 steps plus. That's a victory, which is slightly over, like close to five miles. You actually walked five miles today. 
and it's lonely, it's not even two o'clock yet. You actually organize your classroom, you did your lessons, you talk to family members you haven't talked to in forever, you did your Facebook, you prayed today. Every small victory you should celebrate. You wanted that big piece of cake, but instead you had an apple. You still want the cake, but huge victory, okay? You know, you ate some more vegetables than you normally did. You're, now you're feeling energetic. And I always say to myself, you know, when I walk two miles, I feel exhausted when I go home. But when I walk five miles, I feel so energetic. I feel energized. And I feel like I want to do more. I want to do more. And I don't know why that is, but I'm going to run with it, okay? So for me, for round one, I'm like, hey, two miles, I'll be like, yeah, I'm all right. But five miles, I'm ready to go. <laughs> so those were the three things I learned from fishing. Who knew I was going to learn all this from fishing, sitting there with a line on a pole. <laughs> but I spent time with my family. I learned how to do patience, and I learned to celebrate the smallest of victories. So if you need anything, if you need tutoring, if you are a teacher that you want to have some consolation for, hey, I can counsel you, no matter problem. So if anything, definitely get in touch with me. If you like these videos, please like it. Please subscribe so you know when these videos are going to come out. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when the next video will be out. So this is Audrey Connor Gibson. Thank you so much for taking the time and watching my sweet little video. All right, see you guys next time. Take care. Have a good weekend.